As requested, here is a video of the fan room. As I turn on the lights, I'm going to make an announcement. Uh, I've received a number of requests uh, about this room over the past couple of days. I will make a video tour. It's what I'm going to do now. The other request I got was to show all the ceiling fans running at once. That one, I right now, I cannot do. And the reason being, well, there's a couple of reasons. The first reason is that I only have um, two swag kits. So I can only physically wire up four of them right now. And the other problem is most of them don't even have um, free room to spin. Like that one's going to hit all those boxes. This is going to hit that light. This is going to hit the boxes and so on. So if you want to see four of them uh, running at once, that I can do. But that's going to be the cutoff for now. So anyway, I will get started with the tour now. Over here, I have my computer. And I have some important documents down there. Uh, I have a Panasonic telephone. What is the dog doing up there? How could he stop? I have a thermometer. So it's very nice out today. It's 69 degrees out. Um, I have another telephone here. So that noise is the dog walking around upstairs. I don't know why he's walking around so much. But anyway, uh, I got some spare telephones under here. A couple of these don't work, so they're just for parts, but i um, been able to use a few of those parts, so it's worth holding on to those broken units. Um, let's see what else I've got. I have my, uh, ouch, damaged my elbow on the uh, table here. I have my Caribbean Breeds uh, controller. And what else do I have here? I have some lights uh, over here. And some more lights. There'll be a lot more lights when uh, Christmas time comes around. Um, I have a portable vacuum down there, but the battery uh, has given out, so i got to get a new battery. Um, here I have my telephone modem and the rest of my electrical controls for my house. And a disaster of plugs and things of that nature there and some horrible telephone wiring. Uh, and here's my work table. I have a halogen light above it. I think this is 150 watts. But it's really bright and it does a great job at lighting up whatever you're working on. It makes it real easy to see. So that was a great uh, thing I installed or I use that all the time. Uh, I have my, one of my new ventilation fans which I'm probably going to actually turn on in a few minutes because it's nice out. Um, underneath the work table I have uh, just some unexciting things. Yeah. A paper shredder, a light, uh, some stuff for the vacuum. I'm not sure what's in here. Uh, packing uh, Let's see here. And there's a whole bunch of junk on this shelf that I really got to get rid of. And then uh, I have some stuff up here. I think we have some Christmas lights up here. You can see there's a whole bunch of Christmas lights and uh, uh, an electric heater that I have for in here in the winter. Oh, this is one of those China ones, so I'm not sure if it is going to work or not because we all know how those products are. Uh, but anyway, I'll show you the top uh, view of some of the ceiling fans while we're up here. Uh, this is a Hunter. This one is an Alaska. We have another Hunter over there. And the, the uh, Emerson fan here. And the Caribbean Breeze over there. And then the Heritage. I know those are horrible. Get over it. And then, uh, what is that one? That is... Yeah, the name has escaped me at the moment. I'm sure I'll come back to that later. And then I have a Westinghouse. Okay, and that's it for the ceiling fans. Over here, um, i got to empty the recycle. There's too much stuff in there. Uh, all these, the oscillating fans. Uh, I do have a few upstairs still. But we have a Lasco one. We have a Taytong one. A Palm Air one. A Shell one. A... A Dayton one, a Galaxy one, and a Lakewood. I have two of these Galaxy ones. The other one is currently upstairs. Uh, let's see, I have another oscillating fan over there, but that one is irrelevant. Uh, under this table with the oscillating fans, I have a whole bunch of uh, important things like uh, obsolete computer stuff. There's a good one. Obsolete computer components, and uh, cordless phone batteries, and uh, some other. Uh, wires and things of that nature over there. And uh, above the oscillating fans, 
I have uh, some boxes for some old fans that I have. We have a box for a Lakewood P223, a Lasco 3733, that's an old Lasco 3733, not the cheap modern junk. A uh, Sears box fan and some Holmes twin window fans. And uh, I'll show those fans in a minute. Uh, let's see here. In this cabinet, we have uh, the window fans for those that go in those boxes. An older single window fan. And these are some fans that I use around my house in the summer, but unfortunately that season is long gone now. Here's a high velocity fan, which is that one. And then the boxes for the rest of those fans are down there. And some side panels for the window fans. Some other fans in here. I'm not really sure what's in those boxes. In here I have uh, it's a spare keyboard and uh, an extension wire. And here I have the air gun for the air compressor. Very useful tool. On top of the shelf I have my Patton U2 1887. Very nice powerful fan. And uh, my other uh, ventilation fan. This is a new tone one. And what I forgot to mention about that one is that one is a cord uh, branded model. Here I have some uh, extension cords for the Christmas lights. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. And behind it I have, uh, let's see, I have spare skateboard decks in there. And I believe there's some trucks and wheels in there. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, it could be. I don't know. Uh, and over here I have some wire um, for various, pretty much all different types. Um, 14 Ford, I'm not sure, chandelier wiring, Ron Max, all sorts of stuff there. Um, drill bits, transformer for some low voltage landscaping lights. No idea why I had so many of those. Um, nothing exciting down there. And here's a box for my Kirby and Bruce ceiling fan. There it is. Um, what I don't understand is, well, this is for a different video, but I think I got extra boxes with this fan. Um, let's see, on this shelf, which needs to find a better place than the middle of nowhere, we have some ticker towels and an old telephone and some ceiling fan packaging parts and some more extension wires. Over here I have a Ann Edison box fan and a Vernco box fan. Um, on this table I have some Hunter Original Oil, ironic because I don't have a Hunter Original, and I have a Casablanca screwdriver and some coupons that came out of my lunch yesterday, and uh, a telephone. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, I have my uh, my light remote control thing, Bob. With this, I can turn off the lights, um, but I'm going to turn them back on for hopefully obvious reasons. Here's an old cordless telephone. This is a 1990 model. I believe this is the oldest one that I have. I'll cord this one anyway. Um, talking caller ID, another telephone. All these uh, helicopter posters that you'll see in here, my grandfather gave me. He used to work at Sikorsky for a long time, and that is where he got those from. Here is my television set, which is uh, it's a Samsung. It's not very big, but it's one of those fancy 1080p ones, and it's actually gets a really good picture. But I'll make a video of my television set and all this other media stuff in here at another time. Uh, here's my 5.1 amplifier. I, I think it's 250 watts. I think I don't remember. I'll make a video of that later. Uh, I have some books and magazines under here. In this cabinet, I have uh, my kilowatt meter. That's also a very useful tool. I suggest everyone get one of those. And some spare light shades and uh, some bubble wrap. I think I got some light kits in there too. Um, on this other side, I have an old television set. And let's see, what else do we have here? And I have a telephone here. In uh, this drawer, I have all my remotes. Uh, next to my television set, I have a cable box, and yes, a video cassette recorder, 
And I do have some videotapes over there from back in the 80s. Haven't played those in a long time. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I just knocked over some stuff on the lamp. Uh, let's see. This is my antenna for the radio. And uh, our artificial tree. Uh, my audio switcher for a variety of different things. Here we have some box fans. This is my Liquid P223. And uh, some of these, well, all the fans that go to those boxes are over here. You're going to see those in a minute. Behind my Liquid, I have a Lasco 3733. Again, that's the one with the better motors, not a cheap piece of junk. Uh, this is a Toastmaster box fan. And then another uh, a GE box fan, a 5 wing. And then a 3 wing GE box fan. I got this, well, that's irrelevant where that came from. Um, and then I have a Sears box fan. And a whole bunch of Marvin window fans. I like these units a lot. Um, surprisingly enough, they seem to show up around here quite a bit. So do these, which is why I have so many of them. Uh, Marvin window fan, G fan, a Vortilex, a Wiz fan, a Dominion, another uh, Zero, which is uh, pretty much the larger version of that unit. Potentially this one too, I don't know, as the badge is obviously missing. Uh, that's a McLarty fan, a Wizard, a Zero, an Unknown, another Unknown. Uh, General Electric, what's this one? This is a Quick Cool, another General Electric. And I believe this is a General Electric as well. It just came out of an old refrigerator. A General Electric window fan. Um, a Sears uh, floor fan. And, of course, a Vernado fan. And here's my subwoofer. I'm not sure how uh, many watts this is either. I think it's 150. I don't know. We'll put that in the other video. Um, I have another telephone there. And I got a, a gray bar fan up there on the wall. And... Uh, Pull this out of a broken heater. And a couple of other boxes for some fans and uh, for some telephones. And here's my chairs. This is an old lamp. I believe this is my great grandmother's lamp. Um, I think it's over 100 years old. And then uh, I have another table here with the Panasonic phone. For those that care, that's a Unit M2080. And uh, this is the other handset, it's my KXTG5100, and that's uh, another 1580 handset. I don't think we, oh yeah, we do have other cordless phones in here. I have a, a Panasonic KXTGA931T, which needs to be charged up here. And uh, I have the Panasonic KXTG4053B down here as well. I don't think I mentioned that early. Or earlier, that is. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's uh, an old Hunter fan with a GE motor in it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for the, the fan room here. I think everything has been shown. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, that's all for now. Over and out.